Hey, what's up, guys? It's Hans Kim here, and we're doing the Hans Kim podcast.com. Welcome to the podcast live from 6th Street, or um, recorded on 6th Street. We got Jordan Shelby in the house. Yes. Martial yes, arts master. You know, this is real brick. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. I'm excited to be here at. This is an old building, but it, it's like done up nice. Are we at Triller? Is this Triller headquarters? <laughs> Seems like it. Yeah. This is one of those places where people stand up at their desks. Yeah. This is a cool office. It is a very cool office. Yeah. They don't believe in Where do you think the money came from? Uh the Ibble money. Yeah, um, let's talk about exactly what they don't want us to talk about. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do you work again? I work for a, a an entertainment company. Oh. Not as cool as here. I'm That's not going to cool. out myself on this. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to drop a lot you, of Is it because like bad words? This is an entertainment company and that's an entertainment company and you don't want them to see you cheating on them? No, I'm going to get fired soon, but I don't want to get fired sooner than I have to Yeah, you don't want to do your due diligence. Yeah. You don't want to act like, you don't want to feel like you deserved to be homeless and out of a job. I want to get fired on my terms. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do it for the reasons that are egregious and not the petty, uh, yeah. undisciplined, shitty, you know, trashy reasons to get fired. Yeah. I want something for my act. You know how we do everything. Like, it might go in the act. Yeah. yeah, it, might, yeah. it might go in the act. Yeah. Yeah. The good old act. It's always getting replenished with new life events. Do you get a lot of <laughs> not jokes? mine, dude. Yeah. Your jokes I act are like bullshit start to finish. Wordplay and. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good sell. My next about wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> this is mostly a dictionary Boo. reading. Um, yeah, man. But yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, I, whenever something happens, I feel the pressure to make it into a joke. But I'm always Do like, you? yeah, if something important, you don't just let it, yeah, be your life. <laughs> yeah. I well, just well, I do let it be my life. But then, like when I do comedy, they're like, "Man, you live in a van. Why don't you joke about that more?" Mm but you know things people think you should talk about in uh -huh. your act yeah yeah it's weird because like some things like i do it and then it's just like um you know i, I don't think it's funny like i just mm -hmm. do it for a lot a lot of my life i don't think like i'm sometimes sad i'm sometimes funny but i'm not like funny all the time yeah even though i'm a guilty Me neither. <laughs> i'm pretty much only funny on stage i think yeah i don't pretty boring and person in the podcast yeah. yeah i try to be i go out of my way to be boring it's a <laughs> it's a useful tool is it yeah you found it to be useful in your life yeah so you're not in a van anymore no i moved into a home do you think that's bad for your brand no it's the only homeless asian fuck. person in america i'm using my brand to get me a home <laughs> oh <there's, laughs> you're using your brand of living in a van to get yeah. in a home yeah i that's mean why you're so fucking smart huh? I uh I just don't um I I'll use my fucking you know brand to do things, but I and talk to me about your brand. Can't really. What is your care brand? about it? It's like impossible. what's the Hans brand? No, I I guess I could be egotistical. Um, my brand is probably like um like stoner or like um petulant vulnerability. Um, Petulant vulnerabilities. Your <laughs> brand's a very heady brand you got in there, dude. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Yeah. What's your brand? Laid back. Don't yeah, I got laid back mustache these days, but I think I'll probably go soon. Yeah. You're going to spike it up so it's not so laid back. You can do a mustache. I don't see a lot of Korean mustaches out there. Yeah, I would love to do a mustache. Would you love that? Yeah, I think it's nice. It looks thick enough from here to grow into <laughs> one. I think it could. Yeah, I've done it before. It's just... Really? Do you trim it with those little scissors and that little comb? I have a comb, and yeah. I, but I just do the same, like, face razor, just, like, closely on the must. I don't really know. I oh. did it because I was bored during the pandemic. And was, <laughs> the only reason I still have it is because I don't want to deal with people, like, reacting when it's gone. Yeah. All so, those people I that still have care about mustache. you, yeah. the people that love your face and will notice when things are different. Why would you want them to? 
Uh, people yeah, just get used to your face and they freak out when it changes a little bit. Yeah, like a baby. Yeah, like mostly babies yeah. are concerned with my face. And must Dogs. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine to do facial hair now. I disagree. Um, but I don't think it's fine. You do uh, jiu-jitsu or... Really badly. Kickboxing. Like I said, I'm just doing it for... Because it... And boy, do I not want to talk about doing jujitsu on a comedy podcast. But yeah, I do it Why? because uh, I, I've always loved martial arts and combat sports. Have a little bit of a background in it. And what's um, your background in it? I like in Taekwondo, just traditional uh, TKD, karate, which is yeah the most useless martial art, if not coupled with it's like you can kick someone in the face and do nothing else. Like there, it's it's actually not it's not practical at all, um, unless you know how to do other things. Well. It's practical if you are kicking someone really hard. That's and true. Fast. But if you miss, then you're getting your ass kicked. Well, hopefully you practice not mi mi missing. I, you know what? <laughs> you're smart. <laughs> I should do that. Well, because Joe Rogan just did Taekwondo as a base, and there are giant yeah. holes in it. But I'm nowhere near. Like boxing that. or like wrestling. Yeah. But there's holes in boxing. Not yeah, as many. Exactly. But. Not I mean, as many as, yeah. It's a good supplement to other martial arts. But yeah, yeah I just like we were saying before, I just like it to, uh, it's easier for me to work out if I'm developing a skill. So yeah, that's what I'm Do you often I'm imagine about. yourself fighting off enemies? All the time, yeah. All sorts of enemies. Is there a Big damsel one, small in distress? One. That's just for me. Just for your own safety. It's just for the passion of kicking You just ass. love protecting yourself. That's, that's my brand is kicking ass. <laughs> and saving I don't think anyone <laughs> thinks that you have a background in martial arts when they see you that's good that's why I don't want to be talking about it on this podcast <laughs> on this podcast right now so what would you rather Everyone be talking come about try something and you're beat not me up. doing I want to talk about why you went two buttons on done instead of one or all the way up today um two I uh I was wearing a neck pillow when I did this and I also and just so you know, if you try and attack me, I have pepper spray, so it doesn't matter how good I am yeah. at martial arts. But sorry, tell me. I'm gonna buy buttons. a gun. I'm really excited I about it. I registered to vote because I don't have a Texas ID and I don't want to switch everything over. So mm -hmm. I just registered to vote, and apparently you can do it with that. Can't you just get one without no. anything here? They don't make it that easy. Why are we here then? And I thought exactly. that was one of the big benefits. I know. Well, I've been trying to get a gun. I've been here a year. I almost have it now. Um, <laughs> You've been trying to get a gun for a year yeah. in Texas? You're yeah. doing something wrong. Dude. I know. There's no way. It's not what it's sold. Is as. it because you were in a van and they're like, we can't give so, it yeah, to you that's because pretty of much the van? part of it, yeah. If I had a place, it would be easy to prove my residence. But <laughs> you have yeah. to just show them a pin of your residence when you're in a van. <laughs> this is where I was. Yeah, Google Maps. Mm -hmm. Just share my location. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I am gonna get a gun. That's the ultimate martial art for yeah, now, as a opposed way to brand a drone yeah. or a nuclear weapon. Could you get a drone? Yeah, civilian drones. Yeah, you can make a drop tannerite or something. Put a little. What did you just say? Tannerite. What is that? It's like C four. Okay. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know rednecks, it's like clay, and then you like paste it onto different shit, and if you shoot it, it explodes. Wow. Yeah. It's a it's just redneck C4 is yeah. what it is? Yeah, it's like the next level of C4. Oh, cool. Yeah, and it's cheap. You can buy it online. You can get like a tub of it ordered to your house right now. And it's just some sort of chemical reaction when the bullet... Yeah, when, uh, something. Something. I, don't, but it blows I have up. no idea. <laughs> but it blows up and it's cool. Know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because how is a bullet hitting something? Good? Like, if you hit me with a bullet, I wouldn't explode. I mean, maybe No, but it cuts. must be like, you know how Ublek changes form? You know uh, what Ublek yeah. is? Like, be, if you hit it quickly, right. it becomes a solid. It yeah. must be yeah, so like, the opposite of that, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. yeah, along the lines of that kind if of stuff. If you shot Ublek with a gun, <laughs> would it... It would shatter like a glass. It's the bullet. Be brittle. Uh, right? Yeah, the bullet would travel to another dimension. Or Dr. Strange. I'm actually very curious about that. Can we get some oobleck in here? <laughs> I 
can't believe you know what it's called. Do you remember Ublack? I don't know the brand name. I don't think it's a brand. I think it's a, a like a thing you make for science class. I I mean, what does it stand for? What what's the language of origin? What does it stand for? I wish I was funny enough to <laughs> give you an acronym, but I have no idea. It's just it's like when they you make the volcano in science class, it's the same thing. Then you do an Ublack yeah. lesson, and then you what do what school did you go to? Some fancy private school. Some fancy LA private school. I did. I'm very middle class, but I'm also an only child, so my I went yeah. to. A, they told you a private school. Every compound and chemical you're using. No, they are more just like concerned with us going to college, so they could <laughs> list where we went to college. That's kind of. Where did you go to school? Gross. Um, yeah, Bellevue Christian cool. School. Is that a private High school? school? Yeah. Fuck those public schools. But before. a lot of our academic uh, energy was parlayed into religion. So mm -hmm. we weren't as strict on getting good grades. That sounds useless. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I feel like we, we both carry a little bit it. of private school energy with us, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that's good, but I think, it's, I think we do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully, ideally, in the future, everyone would go to private school and, like, you wouldn't have to, you know. The only reason why it's fucked up <laughs> is because we're living with a bunch of savages who tore each other apart during lunch. They had two lunches like animals. Wait, what did... I, did, I missed this transition. Were you talking about your school right there? No, the public schools. Oh, all right. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's good to spank your children or have school. You don't think spanking's good? Mm. Open. I mean, it not if it's like a structured thing, like tonight you're going to get spanked, child. I don't think that's how people do it. <laughs> I don't think there's like a calendar. Where well, like, it seems like some 13 people days are we're going to spank your ass. That's what it feels like when some people talk about it. They're like, I'm going to, I love spanking kids. It's going to happen for <laughs> no me. No one says that. I love spanking kids. And they keep <laughs> well, that to like themselves. it's like an important part of their identity. <laughs> they're like, they're like people that hit children. I think a little bit of public school and a little bit of spanking your kids is good. I think there's a limit, <laughs> but yeah. You can either spank them like five times or you can hit them once, whatever you yeah. decide. I mean, I think that there is entirely too much public school energy in our pop culture with like uh, Cardi B. Cardi B. You think Cardi B's public school energy? <laughs> yeah. Cardi B's GED energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We um, can't do what she does. No. I can't, no. no. I don't, I mean, if I could, I'd be a completely different person. That's true. Have um, you tried twerking before? Yeah. You like can do it. as a joke at a party. I don't yeah. know, probably not. It's really no. hard. Yeah, I mean, you got to articulate your hips. You do, you need good hip flexibility. Yeah, you got to think of it or like somebody. a joint, like a ball and socket. You just got to. Is that? Tell me more about how you have to think about twerking. No <laughs> it sounds painful. I feel like I'm gonna break my back if I do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I've tried before. And I look ridiculous. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. You seem pretty skinny and tall and lanky, so. But that's not good twerking no. dimensions. Yeah, you, you gotta have short the bounce. And short and the jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta. Be. The bounce and the jiggle. Yeah, that's what you should call this podcast. <laughs> Who's? Are you the bounce or the jiggle? I am the bounce. Final answer. Because you're. Like, what is the difference between a bounce and a jiggle? Let's really get into the a bounce, real issue. I feel like a jiggle is a higher frequency bounce. So it's just really? bouncing that happens. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like a jiggle is left to right, but a bounce is up, up and down. <laughs> yeah, like a ball. Right. You're not jig exactly. You're not you're jiggling. Not jiggling the ball. <laughs> That'd be a different. And unless it's a. Like a not bouncy, a very good ball. Instead you know? of a bouncy ball, it's a, a jiggly a ball. A mushy, yeah, jiggly ball. J a b jiggle happens within the confines of the object, and a bounce yes. happens in the environment. This is private school right here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. why Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Oh, so so the private yeah you're saying the private element is mainly was mainly yeah. religion. Yeah, I mean, if you're an idiot, you could just be like, well, at least I love Jesus a lot. Yeah, it really so made you into a, a good yeah. Christian man, didn't it? <laughs> at what age were you like, no, to this? Like, 
freshman year of high school. Is it early? Yeah. yeah. Was there a coalition of people who agreed that it was all bullshit that you were doing, or was it just you quietly in your head being like, I don't believe this at all? I don't think it was said out loud. I think I don't even know if I was fully like, this isn't real, but I felt like I felt that way. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't think that's true. I think it's um, pretty obvious it was made up. Did you? Uh, t- did they teach evolution in addition to? Not really. I mean, they taught it. They were like, "Yeah, it exists," and they weren't like they just like glossed over it. Yeah. <laughs> that chapter, they were just like, <laughs> get through this one. Yeah. yeah, they evolved past the pages real quick. Um, mm-hmm. I see what you. Mean. <laughs> that, was, that was very smooth. Evolve and revolve. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was pretty progressive Christian school for Christian schools. Mm-hmm. They're like, yeah. It's like sort of the vibe was like this might not be true but we're just going to teach it anyways right did you uh did you have to go to a, did they have a church service yeah every thursday thursday it was a chapel nice has there been any controversies since you left about i have no idea the usual christian controversies <laughs> <laughs> places like that i wonder if they have a trans person there i wonder there has to be i mean I, does there have to be? Yeah. Maybe how big was the school? Uh, like 400 kids in the whole and high school. And then how many trans people per? 400. I would say three. Three? In a high school, especially now, like, especially nowadays. <laughs> I don't think you could say that. <laughs> that's, especially that's now. Yeah. yeah. All about. Well, back in my day, it wasn't a thing as much. Yeah, but I think the the what you would say is there were always trans people <laughs> but just now that i guess they re they know well, they're more actualized in their identity think, three think, to every 400 sounds good <laughs> slightly under one per 100 but yeah i have no idea yeah it's hard to say do you think jesus was a trans person <laughs> um sure he tra- what isn't there transcend he trans he transitioned from a uh, mortal to a deity or I guess he was always a deity. Yeah. He transitioned from an earthly form into mm-hmm. a corporeal form. Yeah. But um the Eucharist. Yeah, you uh you love the trans? Are you a supporter? <laughs> no, you asked me a hard question. <laughs> I am a supporter of the trans. I support I the think, trans. Yeah. I think I mean, there's like two for types. Both of us. There's like the real like ones that are like serious, and then there's like ones that are just like on board. Um. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not connect. I don't. I'm not connect like deeply. Con- I took a couple classes in college where I learned about you know gender identity and stuff, and it made sense to me. And then beyond that, I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'll take <laughs> well, your word for I it. I think like even if you are like on board, I want to change my gender. You should be able to like it who gives a shit like you should be able to do that i don't think yeah sure i mm-hmm. think like the conservative like um hatred of the trans is way more egregious than the choices that some people make about their gender um right they think that yeah that makes sense yeah the hatred is 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 a bigger issue than the yeah. going too far and allowing people to yeah express themselves yeah i mean there's always going to be weirdos yeah I think there are probably some weirdos in there these days that yeah. shove their way into that community. <laughs> the, the stuff yeah. about, like, I get the pronouns and stuff like that, but when it's like the color of my bracelet is the, what you have to call me today, it's it a little <laughs> bit Simon Says. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't really but experienced But I do that. support I only hear about trans everyone. people. I never have actually, like, you know, they're just like a fucking... You know, it's like you Ukraine. You I never hear of what? I never talk to, I never like. I don't have a best. It's not a lot. No. In the there aren't a lot. Community. I feel like they're more in the comedy community than. than yeah, right? Yeah. It's a very. It's more progressive and yeah, artistic. It, they have a lot more accepting to Accepting of fringe people yeah. since forever and. Yeah. Um, that what is valued in the comedy community is not your identity. Did you just crack your jaw? <laughs> yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> I uh, have I have a jaw thing. You have a jaw thing. Is it because of your underbite? 
Yeah, I mean, that is my jaw thing. And it makes you crack button. your jaw like that? Yeah. Is that from all the smooching you've been doing? You have to crack yeah, your I'm jaw just, a little bit. Is it like really weird? Like you can't do that? Crack my jaw like that? Yeah. No, I can't just like move my face and have it make a noise. Yeah, it's not probably not mouth. good. It probably is like a lot of stress and tension. It's kind of intimidating. Like if we were about to fight <laughs> and you did that, I'd be like, maybe <laughs> not. Yeah, maybe I have like a piston, you know, like my body. It's like those lobsters that can boil water because of how fast they can shoot a spike, like use their claw. Or like, yeah, it's like their I claw closes. No idea what you're so talking fast. about right now. A piston that can boil water, lobster <laughs> claw? Yeah. What? These lobsters have like little gears they look like little gears if you zoom in and then they can are you talking about real lobsters claw. right yeah. now lobsters have gears yes like microscopic gears and they can ratchet their fucking uh claw and then when a fish comes by they like it lets go or whatever and it like snaps shut that's like the internal anatomy for how it yeah. for how it closes yeah and that relates to my jaw because right because that's why you're afraid of me it's because because your jaw is like a lobster that can <laughs> close dangerously i get it yeah yeah and that's exactly what i meant by that yeah that's i mean terrifying. i went through a lot of orthodontistry as a child mm -hmm. and i think that was a kind of a quack science and your teeth are still like that yeah my jaw is all fucked up <laughs> but uh you got a nice smile you got a charming smile thanks yeah it's good it's just like yeah i mean what did they do? Like, did, that's a very private school gave, thing. Like, braces, to have, to yeah. Expensive gear, doctors fuck retainers. with your mouth for no reason. Yeah. Did yeah. it help? I mean, I don't think so. Would the, yeah? I mean, you still your jaw is still like that. Still like, did they, was it looking. for the underbite they tried to fix it? Yeah. Did you braces retainer? Oh. What they did? Yeah, they did was braces put his, put his retainers. Dick in your mouth said so that fixed it. They uh, didn't molest me. They didn't molest. That's good. That's a good <laughs> orthodontist. Yeah, that's. A, Part of the social as or the mental aspect of fixing your underbite is don't get molested. If you get molested, it sets back your recovery. That's true. That's what they say when they put bra yeah. my braces on. They're like, make sure it's only stuff you want in there, or else it'll <laughs> fuck things up. Yeah. Yeah. They gave you little weapons in your mouth in case someone molested you. That is true. You like grind it down, but yeah. your teeth are pretty good. You don't need more weaponry in there. Yeah, I kept, don't know what we're talking about right now, but I did have braces for I did have braces for a while, and it was stupid. Yeah, my parents regret it. They're like, "Why did we do that?" Do they still do braces? Is it like the opposite? Or is it just all Invisalign now? Yeah, I uh, yeah the braces to transgender yeah. curve. Like as braces have gone down, transgender. Um, we got a probably lot more. with my braces, it was so they they were like your teeth are fucked up, which they weren't um but then they're like we have to spread them all out and then bring them all together which when i'm there i'm like okay i guess that makes sense but then in retrospect they're like they're just fucking with me they're like yep yeah. bring them all apart it's and like bring them back together yeah it's like a contractor that you don't really trust they're like yeah we're gonna have to tear this whole thing down we're gonna yeah. put it up again <laughs> they're just like i wasn't even talking about this part of the house it's over here <laughs> oh yeah that too yeah to build your kitchen we have to destroy your toilet and then rebuild it <laughs> oh, what yeah. yeah but i mean um you know maybe after the vietnam war we were like who are we as a generation we have nowhere else left to conquer let's just start fucking with middle class people mm -hmm. create an industry or maybe they were like, yeah, like they trusted the technology of their time and they were like, we can do anything with this. I'm tired of my kid looking ugly. Right. We're going to fix this once and for all. And in terms of the Vietnam War, what side were you on? <laughs> this is second Asian. Yeah. The Vietnamese side, which is good because they were on both sides of that thing. They were. It was a terrible period in our nation's history <laughs> all around. <laughs> Not as bad as their nation's history. Yeah. I would say so, because it, it happened over there. Yeah, for us it was like a bad dream. Like, oh shit, fuck! Did was, you watch the Ken Burns Vietnam? Yeah, thing? I loved it. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. I, I it runs all together for me with the Vietnam and the Civil War and everything he did. 
uh, all of his documentaries you mean <laughs> it's just all it's all the same thing it's like this is amazing but it's all yeah 20 hours of the same <laughs> yeah thing. they were uh -huh. using muskets in the beginning and then they started <laughs> yeah i heard they used muskets in the vietnam war that's why it took so long yeah <laughs> then they made they the george washington that. bridge or the brooklyn bridge um but yeah the vietnam like the tet offensive mm -hmm. i remember that word yeah they started out early, then they did the protests, and yeah, I think I remember it. And th this is not an Asian thing. Which side would you have rather been on? The communist side. It would have been cooler, huh? Yeah. Like doing the bamboo spike pits and stuff like that, taking <laughs> Americans' guns. That's funny, yeah. Although I would have liked to do this thing as you cross the river. <laughs> that seems cool. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah. holding a gun above your like head. Like in Forrest Gump, the exactly. water's coming up the river yeah um yeah that's cool yeah it seems like it does seem like it would have been more fun to be on the helicopter Vietnam right side. you couldn't have been riding helicopters if you were nva yeah in fact that would have been probably the worst part <laughs> is the air superiority that yeah. superiority that the americans had yeah and the technological superiority and how they would like light you on fire <laughs> whatever they were doing but besides that cool to be on the yeah, and the, the Asian side. orange that your kids now have to yeah like have a deformed head um but yeah i mean if you could survive it you were just in your pajamas you were sleeping with your buddies yeah i think they were in their pajamas and you yeah. were like in the dark with the, one of those <laughs> one of those things that seems fun to use one of those yeah darting americans yeah that's what i would have done i would have been you know how they were like infamous uh, soldiers I would have been the guy that like this the whatever the shadow of Vietnam will dart you in the neck <laughs> and they'd be talking about me yeah did they use darts in Vietnam I don't remember that in the <laughs> I think did that's they, have just they used the them anywhere book. <laughs> in the jungle book yeah is that a scene in the jungle book I don't know do they have a Vietnam scene in the jungle book <laughs> it just seems like you I don't remember that part. It's like a primitive culture They're yeah like in loincloth yeah, I don't think that our <laughs> thing actually is real. It sounds like no. a, a I mean, toy. it's good if you need it silently. But it's not silent because you can hear that. You always hear the noise of the dart <laughs> firing, you know? Yeah. You have to get a silencer for it. On your for own your mouth. Dart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe well, you could just good. fart into it. I think that's the proper technique, actually. <laughs> Do you think you could get more velocity coming out of your butt or your mouth? Um, I think you could get a more continuous velocity coming out of your anus. More continuous? See, I would have said the opposite. I would have said, I bet you you can get higher velocity wind coming out of your butthole, but you can control it better coming out of your mouth. You're probably right about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are a martial artist. Yeah, I know all about butt control from my days at the Shaolin Temple. That is a good thing to know. So do you like being on top or on bottom? I'm more of a middle, you know? 50-50 yeah. on your side. Mm -hmm. um, Did you learn this interview technique from Kill Tony? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's up? What's your sex life like? <laughs> it's brash and yeah. unforgiving. No, um, I just like the art of jiu-jitsu. I think it has a lot of parallels to life and strategies like the art of war yeah um, absolutely I, I think anything that connects you to your body like that is, is is very useful as a as a human what about vr i haven't i have never i've never tried it i haven't been um i haven't had enough money to buy one or known someone who has one of those things is i feel it like cool? i'd get car sick did you run into a cabinet or something when you tried no. it um yeah it, it was cool it was good uh i think vr i mean you said that you need to like, connect to your body i think like isn't that kind of the opposite of that disconnecting from yeah. your body is good too uh, sure at times definitely yeah but i don't know like i think it like we were talking about earlier i think it, it, you get you have more control if, if you control your body you control your mind control your body sort of thing yeah yeah um i agree with you wholeheartedly thank you I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we did a show at the Romo Room. 
<clears throat> it's not the, the Roma, 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 Roma room. Yeah. The North Star. Formerly. Yeah. The North Star, whatever. It's what called. did you think about the whole th experience? Oh, it was good. I thought the shows were good. Yeah. I was impressed. Like a ton of ton of people there and it was fun shows. That room's always a little bit it's not like I mean, comics are always like, This is room isn't perfect, therefore I fucking hate it. But yeah. um it's not it's not the most reliable place yeah. to do comedy, but it is it was fun. Very good shows. Do you think it's because they're sitting up high and like they're at the same level as a comedian, so they don't respect it because they're not looking up at him? Uh, no, I think they just don't respect me because they see me. You know, like I don't respect that guy. But I, I don't know if the like situ the psychology of com psychology of comedy rooms is. Uh, I don't really understand it. Sometimes I get like low ceilings, dark audience, but then there are other times just some weird. It's just the energy yeah. of the place. The Roma room also their sound is. A it little was bit especially wonky. bad, yeah. And um, because they took out all this shit, because the guy that owns it was like, "I'm taking off," and he took the spotlight. He took the sound yeah. equipment. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah, there was no spotlight, huh? Yeah. But you get the worst, like the video. You get terrible tapes from there because your <laughs> eyes are just in darkness and you look like a demon. Oh, that's because you have a Caucasian face with. Oh, your eyes are brows. never under shadow. Yeah, huh? they're always well lit. Pan face. <laughs> I would never even thought of that. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm jealous. You can't shadow your eyes at all. Yeah, I mean, if I sweat, it just goes right in there. That sucks. Your eyebrows don't do anything. Huh? Yeah, they're so was... high up, too. They are kind of high up. There's, like, so much distance. Are they higher up, or is it just because your eyes don't go as high? <laughs> like, <laughs> does it appear that way visually? Um, yeah, that's why they're high up, is because I have extra eyelids. I have an extra bunch of eyelids up here but i mean you know how they're like they're those optical illusions where it's like is the they like have a line going through a circle or something like is the line straight or is it bending yeah is that uh, is that the same thing with your eyebrows like are your eyebrows <laughs> higher or are your eyes just asian i mean yeah there, there's a lot see, more eyeballs see if you do are, that yeah then it's like close it's completely normal yeah i look like a white man Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you look like an ugly white dude. Yeah. That's the goal. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw like an Asian guy that looked like an ugly white dude, and I was like, that guy has the keys to our, to our race. How does an Asian guy look like an ugly white dude? He was balding. He had big eyes. He had like a pot belly. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's not a very flattering description of white people, but yeah, kind of accurate. It's the master race. It, do white people bald the earliest <laughs> of everyone? I think they might. Maybe. I mean, black people, I feel like they don't bald that much. Their their hair is different. No, I don't But think, LeBron's no. bald. Generally thick and beautiful. But yeah. yes, there is a whole thing with LeBron balding. <laughs> but everyone balds at some point. It's just when. You know? Yeah. I have a bunch of Canadian family and they all bald immediately. So I think that brand of white might be the quickest. Yeah. Bald. They're just like, get rid of the hair. No need. We're going out into the tundra. Exactly. But you'd think they would be hairier. Yeah. They should but be. No. It's like a hat. It's like yeah. you always have a hat on. Um, You're so fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> hair is like a hat. <laughs> Have you seen that fly of the Concords where they make a helmet out of hair? Too like, many dicks on the dance floor. Yeah. That's the only one. Uh, they make a helmet out of hair. Yeah, they put yeah. they get a helmet, they just put hair on it so it doesn't look like he's wearing a helmet. It just looks like his hair. I love them so much. So <laughs> yeah, they're so innocent. Yeah. Are the will they yeah, the way they just yeah, I guess they are, huh? The way yeah. they, they like navigate like their more sexual songs and stuff is very goofy. Yeah. Yeah. It's really talented though. Yeah. That's what we're all going to be like without any um, guns, you know, just totally like, oh, why'd you do that? Oh, that's kind of made me feel sad. I think I'm going to go cry about it. <laughs> goofy New Zealand people. <laughs> yeah. They're New Zealand, right? Not Australia? Yeah. I think they're New Zealand. New Zealand, well, they because there's that side of New Zealand, I guess, but then there's also like the fucking 
rugby <laughs> people, like gnarly yeah. New Zealand people, or I think they're very one or the other. Yeah. You know? It's good. They have like a certain number of people that they're like, these are going to be our violent people. Mm -hmm. They're going to keep our culture of violence alive. And they do that when they come out as a baby. They're like, this is a violent one. <laughs> Send them that way. Yeah. yeah. And this is a softie. Yeah. Yeah. Put him in an office at Ibble Studios. Here at Ibble. <laughs> Here at Triller headquarters. So do you think it's Triller? You guys should do boxing. You ever thought about boxing? I'll pitch him that afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Just the whole combat sports arena that yeah, makes put sense in a triangle yeah have you ever f pulled off a triangle in a in a spar sesh um a cut like i said i suck but i have long legs so that's the, that's a good one for that's me the only thing you can do yeah my upper body is uh weak and unimposing so i have to rely on my my legs you just to flail fight them around yeah i just flame all around and people get so distracted. you triangled someone yeah, and like a, an, another person who sucks at it. I've yeah. done it before. Yeah. That's cool. What submissions yeah. have you gotten off? Um, I mean, honestly, the triangle is the main one because my, my nice. legs are long. That's the easiest That's one. That's crazy. Because I'm good at passing for like it's being not a, intuitive. A, a white. Like a rear person. naked choke. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm squeezing his neck. But None of it isn't. It's all motions you have to get used to to yeah. figure it out. Yeah, and it's it's very a lot of the movements are, are are foreign if you haven't done it before. Yeah, move like I love it. It's like do you do it? Yeah, I used to. Oh, cool. Uh, it's like um, you know, like uh, this is a truth of nature. Like this is just we would have found it. Like if you have religion mm -hmm. and like all over the earth like it's very old very yeah. old art it form. would all be different but if everyone was doing jujitsu they would like oh yeah this works and uh you know triangles and stuff it's like they've it's just discovering yeah. parts of the human yeah body. and if you if there's a new um submission or something that someone discovered it's like was that actually something 300 years ago that they were doing or is that a new <laughs> yeah as, as there's donaher was um mentioned uh, i forget on some other podcast podcast section happening right now but he was um mentioning that that a ton of martial arts knowledge got lost in the when the fire of the light in the library of alexandria because it was all from you know all the cult logs of whatever in the coliseum yeah. all of that combat sports history is just is, is just gone that was their ufc library well they could have been they could, i mean you don't know how sophisticated they were yeah in, in, in that sort of thing but it's all gone um, yeah, I mean, that sucks. The Japanese. I also think that sucks. <laughs> the Japanese. <laughs> I'm, I'm really crazy. sad about the fire in the library of Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people use that as an example, but like in general, there's like a lot of historical destruction that happens, and then whatever mm -hmm. happens when to new survive. people come in, they just yeah. wipe it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know how important that one event was, but it's um, it makes sense because. If you're a conqueror and they're the people mm -hmm. that you're raping and like chopping off heads and making necklaces out of are like, no, right. please don't do that. That one is our precious library. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, that one? Oh, that's precious? Motherfuckers yeah. burn it down. Save the library. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, I would just do it to fuck with them. But <laughs> That would have been a cool historical event too if you had a time machine to witness. <laughs> that would be a banger. Yeah. The burning of the Library of Alexandria. Yeah, where they're like, the nerds lose. It's like the jocks completely yeah, just winning. Watching the, all of the knowledge of Earth up until that point <laughs> go up in flames. But what the rad. fuck did they know? Honestly, they were stupid well, we as fuck. <laughs> they were drinking like they didn't even have iPhones, gutter dude. water. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't know. Maybe there was, you know, well, like how the pyramids from... got constructed or whatever. Right. We don't know how advanced they got before it got wiped clean. Yeah. Well. Not that advanced because they didn't come up with USB sticks or like a printing press. <laughs> well, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe the way they were advanced is different than the way we're advanced now. That's true. Like the Anunnaki or the Egyptian Egyptologi Egyptologists or um, like Gobekli Tepe. Yeah, whatever you just said. That's, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. Um, yeah, it's good to have history, you know, like the ancient cultures and, um, you know, like 
imagine if there was no Asians and we didn't realize that we could like meditate and be Buddhists and monks. Yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, we don't need Asians. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Just racist joke made me forget what I was going to say. God damn. Um, oh, do you think a- aliens help build the pyramids or we did that through just human suffering? <laughs> yeah, I think we can do that. You think we did it without yeah. help? Yeah. But we don't know how. No, yeah. They say like they're huge and they have to travel really far with them. Yeah, and they're <laughs> and they're lined up based on the stars in some imperfect way. Oh, yeah. But it yeah, it was I think the um it was how we could have lifted the weights that I don't I actually don't know yeah. what the impossible part they're, of it is. They're like if they're it seems like, easy. It's just like fucking Yeah, I mean everyone stack stacks the bricks. Like, yeah. yeah. But they say like if you were to build a ramp to, uh, you might have a hair on your nose. If you were to build a ramp to the, to uh, put all the stones up where they're supposed to go, the ramp would be a bigger project than right. the pyramids. Exactly, because you have to build it super Aliens. long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, it doesn't seem that complicated. I mean, stack some bricks. Yeah, you can then keep stacking areas. them until it's really high. Yeah, until <laughs> you can't anymore. Yeah. That makes sense. I think people are very awesome, and we had a lot of free time. We have even more now, but we just waste it. You think we had a lot of? There was a lot of free time back in the day. Were yeah. you just concerned about getting like collectively, everyone's free time added up? Yeah, I I know I have no idea. <laughs> I, uh, how much would it have sucked to just the first thing you got sick with you died, like the first time you got sick, so you're dead now. That yeah. it was must have been such a bummer. <laughs> yeah i mean they died a lot more than us now but maybe we're just Cheers spoiled oh, yeah from not dying maybe it'd be better if like a tenth of your friends didn't exist like it might be better if there was more turnover <laughs> yeah in the yeah. human race in general that's yeah. uh japan's having a issue with that right now right yeah uh, most civilized countries, the better you get as a country, the more you we don't stop want having kids. kids. Yeah. yeah, this is great. I don't want children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you're poor, you're like, I need, I need Help. more witnesses to this. <laughs> I need more people to, yeah, know yeah. how shitty this is. So yeah. let me have one. We need more people suffering. Well, but that actually is true. Is like in, uh, in poorer countries, they have kids because they need help yeah. growing food. You know. Yeah. And that's why they keep having kids. And if one dies, so like it doesn't, we need another one to help. Yeah. People are expendable, but they get that more attached sad. to the ones that do survive. And then when they die, it's more devastating. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it all evens out. They're as happy as we are. In my I, I, yeah, I think that, you know, I think that is true where it's like up to a certain amount of money, you can get happier, but it's just more like if you're in mortal danger. Yeah. Uh, and beyond that, it's it doesn't affect your happiness very much. Yeah. But I also only hear, you know, people on podcasts talking about this. I don't know. I'm sure if you went to some <laughs> tribe in Africa, they'd be like, we want the money. Like, we'd be happier <laughs> with the money. I'd like a pool. They'd be like capitalists. Yeah. They'd be like, we got a casino. You can gamble a couple coconuts. If Yeah, if you went to a, like somewhere in Africa, you're like, you guys know that you're as happy as we are on our yachts. They'd be like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> They are probably happier, like hunting and living, as long as there's no pollution or like, you know, war. But even with war, people are really happy in war. I think it's, I think it's back to the free time. If you have too much time to, they're, they're living, they're, like they're doing things, so they can keep living their lives. Yeah. You have a lot of money, you're sitting in your empty mansion with nothing to do, but circles in your head then well, you start getting sad it's like you built that on exploitation and you know that and you can only <laughs> hang out with other people that have exploited people and yeah you're somewhere in the back of your mind it's, you're like it is not quite moral that i have a house like this <laughs> yeah the, you have the house but no one to share it with because everyone is either an asshole or a victim it's not the weird thing about i think that there's like a certain guilt i think that's why a lot of um we see such heavy reactions in like in, in like on the very extreme ends of social justice crusaders i think it's it's because young people nowadays are 
we're, we're so much more connected. It's the kind of the first people who are, are born uh, aware of their privilege. And um, I think that kind of fosters like a deep sense of guilt that they, they feel like they, and, and they're, that's how they're trying to, to fix that. They're trying to earn their privilege by burning down a police car. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Like now yeah. I get to use my iPhone. Yeah. Um, no. Kids, they're spoiled. They're uh, they're aware of their privilege and uh, they want to earn it. I think um, you know, like we don't really, um, you know. I think we could do a lot more. Well, it's, it's weird being just being in a first world country. You you're like in action because we could. I don't have much money, but I could have still live on less money. Like I could still sell a bunch of my stuff and move into a worse apartment and send the money to a third world country and save lives. Like we could all do that. It's like all like at this, uh, you are, you are guilty by inaction just by living your life uh -huh. in a country. And I think there's uh, people deal with that in different ways. Right. But what's the point of saving a life far away when there's no benefit to you? Uh, interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should, I guess. <laughs> Well, but, but we like should. But no, we, none of us do. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to like if we were in a system where, like, we were seeing like I mean, even we see the homeless and we don't help. But if there was like a productive, efficient use of that resource, I'm sure a lot of people would. But that there's not an infrastructure that helps like send money to the right places like it's not something that we well yeah i don't about. think we're not doing that because we're like concerned about the the charities aren't being 100 percent transparent i think we just live in a weird time where we're very connected and very disconnected yeah at the same time i don't know we're just coming from basically like primitive past like we're we're just now getting computers like mm -hmm. still we're, we still have all the remnants of the old civilization of Babylon and like Hittites and yeah. fighting off the Huns and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, but now we tweet. like it's frustrating now cause like we're, we have both, but um, you know, maybe this is just a momentary blip and yeah, I don't know. You want to think about sometimes is if there was uh, like if aliens had a history book, or a sociolog, some sort of uh, uh, evolutionary fight. Like I'm sure if you took a, the, if you looked at like ten planets and how life develops and grows and falls on each of those ten planets, you could then categorize them into different ways that life will develop and things that can happen. It would be very interesting to see, in in from a, a, a removed perspective, what what we are experiencing in that yeah. way. Like how what is the the name or the term for how life is progressing on our planet right this now. This is the Mountain Dew phase of our yeah, species. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like they all, they all <laughs> have Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah. soft, sugary yeah. drink. It all Mountain Dew will it, come on this planet. Yeah, it's called Splurge. Splurge. Um, that sounds like a Mountain Dew flavor. Yeah, they're like, oh, look, they're they found that they can, uh, you know, uh, make money off each other, and they're letting it get away from them. Mm -hmm. And eventually they'll collapse, and then the rodents will take over, right? Or the ro yeah, that's also always happens. Is at some point they get Mountain Dew, and then at some point the rodents take over. <laughs> yeah, that feeds the rodents. Do you think we could fight off the rodents if all the rodents <laughs> could communicate with each other yeah. perfectly and wanted to destroy human civilization? Do you think we could fight them off? I don't know if the size would help or hurt it. Because the size, you could slip in. Would well, be a great asset. I feel yeah, like. but then if you're one on one, then oh, you're yeah. fucked. But it wouldn't be one on. I'm, I mean, I'm sure there are many more rodents than yeah. there are people, so it would be whatever that ratio. It'd be like, could you kill fifteen? Well, how many midgets would it take to overthrow the civ our civilization? I think that you don't. They're midget, little people <laughs> aren't little enough. Sorry, man. To how dare you? My <laughs> whole family is little people. Um, I don't think they are getting the tactical benefit. I kind of have a joke about this. My, I, they, I don't think they're getting the tactical benefits 
of being small. I don't think they're small enough to get the tactical <laughs> benefits yet. I think they, it's not good. You have to be much smaller and then it would be helpful. Yeah. They're in the weird gray area. Yeah. Where it's just kind of probably a bummer, for them, <laughs> but not uh, useful from a, uh, battlefield perspective. <laughs> That's why I hate Lord of the Rings when they show the dwarves fighting. The you don't orcs. believe it. Yeah. Did you see the new, the trailers for the new, I forget uh, it's a movie or TV show where the, the guy from Game of Thrones, what, you know, what the guy from Game of Thrones is, who's the little person and they all hate him, oh, but yeah, he's great. Oh yeah, Tyrion Lannister, he's Peter a, Dinklage. He's the lead in a, in a new movie or TV show and he's like, he's badass and he has like a sword and he's killing all these people. Oh yeah, it's yeah. uh, it's like a French thing. He's like a poet and then he's like trying to woo this woman. So he gets like a black guy with a big dick to show up in person, but he writes the letters for her. I don't remember that part, but I do remember him be beating up a lot of people. And is that true? Like, the thing about yeah. uh, the little Maybe people. Maybe he's very skilled. It's like, I don't get think their your joints work properly. Like their legs are like, they sort of waddle their shoulders. I feel like they can't like stretch all the way back. Like if you're trying to fight. I think they could do a bridge, you. like a bridge position. I feel like that's possible. Some of them are acrobats, are they not? Like, isn't that like a carnival thing? I think they might be very flexible in some circumstances. But like the average No. One. I would be worried about fighting someone like that. Because I feel like they'd take you out at your knees and then you're on the same level. And then you're in their world. Yeah. yeah. Like, have you seen the wrestler with no legs? I saw that clip. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that's embarrassing. Hard. I know, because you think that he would have a disadvantage, but actually it's hard to take him down because you can't go for his legs. Wrestling's all about grabbing the legs. Yeah. yeah. I guess you could, like, you know, push him like a yeah, like, Couldn't you just grab his arms and, like... Like, <laughs> like a like, towel. Yeah, like you're doing, getting the sand off a, off well, a towel on the beach. Well, hopefully he can, like, those. pry your hands off. So His grip strength is probably incredible. <laughs> yeah, he's walking on those things. That's true. I wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, anyone like anyone like that. I'm in, you know, in such a able body. I think it has makes me weak. If someone is like, has some sort of, uh, yeah. deformity like that, I would be, I'm very scared of them because I'm Cause sure mentally know. they're iron, you know, and <laughs> yeah, that's and you're what weak. matters. You're yeah. used to like lounging and I'm chairs. Just like, yeah. Um, you know, like that. You don't. You also don't know how they move. Like what their strategy. Like a human, you know. That's true. Left, right, foot. They're, uh, yeah, like, unconventional. That's why, like for bullfighters, or the bulls that they use in bullfighting, mm -hmm. they never walk up to the bull because they don't want to show how human. They like use a unicycle or a bicycle or like they walk. They don't backwards. use a unicycle. Oh, it's a, it's Spain. About? They're a bunch of fucking. To like Fairies do the grooming there. on the bull or yeah, whatever, they to like, cycle up to him yeah, and yeah. <laughs> give him an air. <laughs> That's, I think so. No way. We need a Googler. You know, being smaller also gives you direct access to uh, your uh, dick and balls, which yeah. would be bad. Yeah. I, I have a because UF like UFC, it's not technically not real fighting because you can't like <laughs> poke in the eyes and like. I have this theory well, that if, yeah. if they allowed strikes to the crotch, like every martial art would eventually be about that. Like it would all be about ways <laughs> well, to rip someone's pride. dick off. They did it in Pride. It looked pretty much like the UFC. Could you strike to the crotch yeah. in Pride? Someone won a fight by punching their dude in the dick. See that? Yeah, that is. But that's real fighting. And I think <laughs> over generations, all martial arts would be about attacking the dick. Yeah, really think about that. Um, I um, I think that's a humorous world. I don't know if it's accurate because like... That's one of the incredibly weak points of the human body. Eyes and dick. I saw the sci-fi movie where this alien got kicked in the shins and that's where his testicles were. <laughs> I forget what it was. It was Star <laughs> awesome. Trek or something. But it's like that's such an it's, impractical place. He had place. testicles on his shins? Yeah. Were they hanging there like human testicles? Yeah. Or is it just like that is the equivalent? Yeah. He had like a blue LED screen on his fucking leg, on his shin or something. And they're like, that's where the nuts are. Yeah. It wasn't but just like a sack hanging I on his shin. I hit my shin. shin all the, it'd be terrible to play soccer. You need like shin guards. Um, if you had in, balls yeah. on your shins? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of hurts to get kicked in the shin normally. Why? 
It'd be <laughs> terrible if it was your yeah. balls were there too. Yeah, I don't think they studied uh, physiology that well. They were just like, it's a funny idea. But why, you know, why would that be? I don't think that's weirder than where our balls are now. <laughs> Doesn't it seem kind of weird where dick and balls are located, if you really think about it? Um, Wouldn't it make more sense if, like, from a reproductive standpoint, if it was in your chest or, like, your hand or something like that? It seems like they're in a weird just place. just chest bump. Yeah, if it or like Avatar, hand. where their hair is like the yeah. their penis, and then they fuck their horses. Yeah, with this ponytail. And they, it's both, right? The, yeah. It attaches to people and the horses. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, it yeah. was an oversight on their what part. What if you could like tell, like, oh, you've been in a horse recently? Yes. Yeah. Why are you thinking about grass so much? Mm. Oh, I think you can probably tell. I think you can tell with people. Yeah. What I feel like to... if someone fucked a horse recently and I just met them, I'd be like, <laughs> I can sense it. Has this dick been in a horse? You have a deep secret. It's like this is how you have You're to ride your horse. You have to <laughs> stick your dick in it. That would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> like to tame the horse, to break the horse, you have to put your dick in it and then it will respect you. <laughs> yeah. Grab the mane. Yeah. Spank it a little. <laughs> kind of makes sense, you know? Like you're gonna break a horse you gotta fuck it and then i'll show it then you can ride it yeah Yeah. or else it's not gonna respect you (laughs) yeah but then the horse is gonna be traumatized because if you're a horse and your dick is that big and like a person with our (laughs) tiny dicks is trying to tame you you're like get the fuck out yeah like i don't respect you it's more uncomfortable and it's like it's more of a symbolic thing it's like oh come on man you don't have to rape me right now yeah but is it rape if it's a a battle for i guess it's if he's trying to rape. do it to yeah, you too that was drum. That's right. <laughs> um yeah yeah I if mean, he's trying to do it to you too yeah if you're both trying to rape each other that's still no can still rape it's all right yeah mm-hmm. yeah i mean we figured just because he out. deserves it doesn't mean it's not rape exactly that's what i've always said <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I tell my children. Yeah. Like, yeah. When I'm getting raped, I'm like, yeah, don't think that just because I was an asshole to you that you get to do this. How often do you get raped? Um, Bi-monthly, twice a year. Uh, penetration. Yeah. I think um, that's that has to, yeah. That's what rape is. Or just like unwanted contact. Unwanted um, contact is not. It's different. <laughs> Somewhere yeah. there's a line where yeah. it, where it crosses over. Yeah. Um, I would say I try to get raped at least once a month. Yeah. Oh, you try to. Yeah. But then it's not rape, is it? <laughs> you got it backwards. Yeah. It's like all about mentality. Never happened at your Christian public school. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been raped because I wanted it. I was asking for it the whole time. Right. That's good advice. Yeah. If you're get, about to dark. get raped, just start wanting it, and then yeah, this is it won't be rape. A terrible, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I'm glad you yeah. didn't say where you worked. Yeah, that's a hundred percent why I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't know that we'd be delving this into the uh, where the line is for rape and just yeah giving advice to people who are about to get raped. <laughs> but terrible advice, but I guess we're here now. So yeah, I mean it'll throw the your opponent off, you know. If your opponent thinks you're small, is your assault or your? I guess uh, that's. I don't think they've ever been called an opponent before. That. <laughs> it's more of like a video game. Your like, uh, perpetrator. Yeah. Your dancing partner for the evening. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think rape is a terrible thing. <laughs> we agree on that. <laughs> Give me another fist bump. That was three in a row. Yeah. I love it. Um, <laughs> I love condemning rape in all its forms. That's your brand, really. Discussing your brand before. Anti-rape. Anti-rape. I think that unless you want it, then it's not rape. Unless it's a um, consenting, non-consent situation. Yeah. 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 You ever been in one of those? Consenting, non... Yes. Really? Yeah, like rough sex. But like, I'm going to tell you no, but you keep going sort of thing? Yeah. How was that? It was great. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I mean, 
it's like uh yeah i mean like uh, a lot of like the bdsm community like there's a real rape problem there and like people hear that and they're like whoa no way the people that simulate rape with each other are always raping each other there's a problem with that in the bdsm community i think so i would think it would be almost the op aren't they all i hope so drawing lines where right. they need to it's hard to tell though because like once it happens people blow it up and they're like look i look. guess that community probably attracts a lot of if i was a rapist yeah i would just say i was very into bdsm <laughs> right yeah yeah or if you're like a pedophile just say you love volunteering at schools exactly that's good advice <laughs> what's some other advice you have for a pedophile <sighs> Well, we don't. Uh, speaking as someone who uh, goes around in a van and <laughs> went to a private Christian school, um, other yeah, advice for that? I think that's hilarious. Like, um, yeah, BDSM is just like a cover. Yeah, are you into BDSM stuff? Yeah, tastefully, I mean, too, like a little bit, you know. But then there's a line where it's like, yeah, everyone ow. has a limit. Yeah, yeah, it's like not fun anymore. This is just like this. Yeah, this is like a, a lot of work afterwards. Yeah. Like if there's like cleanup involved, like, or I mean not like cleanup, but like medical procedures that have to be applied afterwards. <laughs> Gauze. Yeah. <laughs> Stick in stitches. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I can match that energy, but I'm not going to bring that energy. Right. To I the mean, arena. Yeah, yeah. you, you got to communicate. You got to communicate. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I do a lot of communicating with my fists. Boom. It's very kung fu of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the fist is the way. Mm -hmm. The way is the fist. Uh, we touched on transgender, rape, and little people. So is there anything else you wanted to ruin my life with while we're, <laughs> while we're talking? Oh, um, I mean, all uh, to get into abortion. We can get into. Um, don't you think we need a revolution of the workers and class consciousness? Communism, yeah. yeah. That's from the communism. That's good. <laughs> Dialectical materialism. Um, Bless you. Owning the means of production. Yeah. Each according to his ability, each according to his needs. I think we're too late. I think we're fucked. <laughs> I think we're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Russia tried communism and now they're invading Ukraine. Yeah, that's true. Don't try it. Cause kids. effect. Yeah. Um, I think that we would be, I think we could um, endure as a species right now, even if we could all get on the same page and conduct, like as if we could, you know, like a cell can communicate with all other parts of the cell and allocate resources. Um, so that's a cell survives. I think if we could do, and we have the capability to with the internet. I think if we could do that as a as a species today, we would be fine, and yeah. we could actually figure out this surviving yeah. uh, on the planet shit. But um, we that will never happen. <laughs> so we have too much, you know, entrenched histories and whatnot. So uh, I think we're screwed. Isn't that interesting so. that everyone of our generation is like? Yeah, the world's going to end soon. Yeah. We're all just on the same page about yeah. it being the end there times. Does, it doesn't feel... It's weird. It doesn't feel like it's sustainable or that it's... Everyone I meet is like, I don't know if I'm going to have kids because the world might be over. It's like a very <laughs> casual thing that we all talk yeah. about. Yeah. I was uh, listening to this podcast and they were like... This podcast? <laughs> no, another mm -hmm. podcast. Uh, we should just play it, but... Um, they were talking about how like uh they're like now you have to fight for it like sometimes uh you know commercialism needs to be defended and what we're fighting for is mindless consumption and it's like well the best part of it is that we don't have to fight for it that's the reason why we're doing it like if we had to fight for it then we wouldn't do it but if you if we have to fight for just like the commercialism then it's like it's not worth it if we're going to fight for something we might as well fight for something worth fighting for instead of just like the whole benefit of this system is that you don't have to sacrifice anything. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't lay down your life for <laughs> Pepsi. <laughs> Not like Kylie Jenner did. What did she do? She did a Pepsi oh, the commercial. Ad? Yeah, that was dope. Yeah, she put a flower in the. In that a was gun right when all the protests were happening. Yeah. Yeah, it was very flower in the gun. She like handed a Pepsi <laughs> to a person of color. They're like, thank. <laughs> 
awesome. Hell I'm so yeah. thirsty. Yeah. I got some Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah, do that voice a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna burn down this cop car and get off welfare. A little bit of a Texas twang to that. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> It changes. I never. I'm really so bad it. at it's voices just... and accents. It's really <laughs> terrible. I mean, trying to practice because it's that's part of funny. our art, but you know. I would love to see a video of you practicing impressions because you're so stoic and you know, yeah. low key. But I do just jokes, so it would help if I could do vo- you know voices. Yeah, but I you can't. Do jokes. Well, I mean, Mitch Hedberg. What was he? He didn't do any famous impressions. No, no, he didn't. But I'm will never be that. So I need as many assets as I could possibly as I could possibly get. Well, you are from LA. You just accrue personality traits like it's a video game. That's true. I have seventeen right now, <laughs> and you're not using any of them for your sets. <laughs> no, it's just deadpan and boring. <laughs> like, you can. You just choose not to. Talk about myself, yeah. Or to be entertaining. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I think you're great. Um, I think you're great too, huh? Thanks. I, uh, I would love to do voices though. Yeah. Don't like you think, Maria Bamford, I'd love yeah. to be able to do that with my voice. Don't you think like it has to come naturally? Like if you don't feel it, it probably means... I think it has to come naturally in the context of the joke. Yeah. But I think you can work on skills that will then eventually find their way into your stand-up. Then so, build it I out. Mean, That's I what they say about Burr, right? He's always, or some comedians, he's, you know, he's doing act-outs, and then he's trying all these new things. He's always building his yeah his skills. Yeah, he's trying new things. He's leaning yeah. on the mic stand. He's not leaning on the <laughs> mic stand. He's a genius. Yeah. He's shaking the mic stand. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, I think that you value authenticity and... I think uh, it's getting serious. Right some now? Pe- <laughs> and I think that's a problem. <laughs> We're gonna break you of that habit right now by riding you like a horse. No, uh, this is the part of the podcast where you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Are we were yeah. there already, James. I mean, we were talking about it. So, mm-hmm. um, break me like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new Brokeback Mountain. Break me like a horse. That's the. Hardcore thing to say. Oh yeah, I mean that's a lot of dating. Hmm? A lot of dating is like vulnerable, but like not, but also it's like I'm vulnerable, but I'm cool. Yeah, (laughs) at the same time, I'm letting you do this to me. I have walls up, but they'll open for you if you want. Yeah, you're lucky you get to be in here. Yeah, is that what you say in your (laughs) van? You're lucky you get to be in here. Right yeah, this is actually one of the best vans to get uh, abducted in. That's true. Um, yeah. Because you would just do a podcast and <laughs> kick them out. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, what I are you using the van for questions. nowadays? Just to drive around. Just as a fucking car. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it's weird. A car with a it's generator. inefficient. Yeah. A solar panels. I carry around like a kitchen and 12 gallons of water everywhere I go. Nice. That's I have a good. bong in there. Wow. Yeah. I have a bed. I like the bed because sometimes I get drunk and I'm just like, I'm just going to lay down completely oh. flat. Complete. Yeah. That does make sense. Yeah. Um, I love it. It's a good, you know, conversation thing. It's a little messy right now. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, people say it looks like shit, but <laughs> uh, yeah, like you know how you can tell how attractive you are by like the expression people have on their face after they see your face. Sure, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't. That's not how be, I judge my attractiveness. Yeah. But you, oh, you see their that's faces how I change. Judge myself, I guess. Yeah, it's like damn, I must be ugly today. No, I. Uh, I guess I. I'm uh, too, you know, like it's probably not physical. Yeah, I mean, I I got the sense that I'm not really like upper tier physical attractiveness. You talk about that in your act a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were kind of, I mean, you weren't dealt very good cards being Korean looking in America where we, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Asians look uh, more effeminate, which is. But that is cool nowadays. Yeah, I'm like Justin Bieber. And there are some 
I do see some uh, Asian dudes with very hot women. Some more more now, yeah. maybe yeah. than before. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, they're working out. They're dressing nice. There are some ripped dudes who are very Asian and very ripped. Yeah, yeah. The dedication and the drive and the loneliness. You should do that. Why don't you become like, one of those one of those Asian guys with the tank uh, top like this? <laughs> And the huge... I think that if I had to look like that to get laid, I would resent whoever was fucking me. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, you don't like my natural form? Mm -hmm. It's like without makeup on. This is just me. But do you resent that that like now that you have some clout <laughs> and you're getting laid? Or are you like, you're yeah. only doing this for the clout? <laughs> yeah. <definitely. laughs> you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respect human 100%. beings in general. No, I, um, you know, like I, I'm more attractive now than I was when I was a loser. And I would work out, but I got like a neck injury and <laughs> yeah. I don't really Me think too. working out is that important. I mean, Stephen Hawking was an amazing uh, person and he was bedridden. He worked out all the time. <laughs> That's why he ended up like that. Yeah. He's working out too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He went big and then went small. It's like your teeth. You had to yeah. break it. I don't know. I'm trying to do a callback. <laughs> went to what? To your teeth how they're like we're gonna spread uh, them out and spread them out bring them back, back together yeah. and you give us three thousand dollars yeah <laughs> pretty cool yeah. Uh, i do th i don't think working out is i think it's in, important like we were saying before in that uh for as far as it goes for your mental health and then beyond that it's a hobby yeah you know yeah yeah i mean um but i do think we do look better yeah man i think we're still you know grounded in you know these bodies that are used to hunting and running from prey and stuff and it a little bit of exercise will make you feel better yeah for sure yeah but um, beyond that don't like do it. working out i think is like an effective way to do it it's just one of the more boring ways and i think yeah a hobby would be better yeah i think it's good to do especially if you're doing a sport it's like oh this is going to help me get better at the sport mm -hmm. um but to just do it um, it takes a special kind of person and usually the people that do it like are writing like they're very analytical and Yeah, because they're hot. It's like they're sad. They like that. Yeah, they're very sad. But yeah. they're like I know my macros. Yeah, I know exactly yeah. how sad I was today <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna need to do three bench presses and two squats to because I got some sad news and then everything will be okay yeah. It's like Hail Mary's <laughs> Say three Hail Mary's and yeah, exactly. Yeah all the same yeah we're all it's modern penance or uh confessionals yeah you your penance at the fucking gym the altar the yeah. iron altar at the altar of testosterone is pumping muscle pre-workout sex i like pre-workout <laughs> uh, that's my favorite part working out yeah it's the uh, drugs cocaine light yeah Woo! yeah and then you just don't work out yeah you're just on instagram but like <laughs> fucking into it yeah <laughs> You're liking at a path at a pace that's unmatched. Yeah. So, do you, would you ever run a marathon? No, I know, I'm not design. I'm not a good runner. I didn't <laughs> what like about swimming. You'd be a good swimmer. I'm better at I'm better in the water than I am. My knees suck, so yeah. I have problems what about quickly basketball? if I run. I did basketball as a as a child, and I liked it a lot, but not. It's a I'll knee play. heavy. It's knee heavy. I don't. I can't jump. I, I don't have hops at all. Um. I mean. I think it's a skill. Yeah. You Basketball's a skill. It. I mean, jumping. Jumping. Yeah. But I mean, I know like. I know what my body. I'm getting more <laughs> acquainted with what my body is good at and what yeah. it's not good at. And running long distances is something. I'd have. I have. I have to fix my posture. I'm trying to fix my posture and stuff, and that might help with the running. But right now, uh, it's terrible. All running, yeah. it, it it's just my legs will blow up if I run <laughs> for a long time. How about you? Um, I would, would like to. Marathon? Yeah, really. I did a lot of soccer back in the day. Did some oh, track. so you are a runner? Yeah, I've been running. I've been known to run. Um, I would love to do it just to see if I can. I mean, I think that's like. Yeah. I mean mental battle yeah i don't know how often human beings were wrestling and rolling around with each other and trying to murder each other in hand-to-hand -hand combat um i mean i think without weapons before well, yeah well no it was all about weapons yeah yeah i don't know how like i don't know if we're designed to be mma fighters no I think it's I, a cool no. thing 
I just mean for do. me personally. Yeah. It hurt. It's better like for my body. Fish, most of them are just designed to like eat plankton or whatever. They're not designed to fuck up other fish. Like our goal that would be with cool, our body, <laughs> like a fucking badass boss rootin fish. Yeah, that could just palm strip. <laughs> doesn't even eat it or anything just yeah. beats it up and moves on yeah it's just only like we cool do that life. like huh yeah other we're the apex don't. predator yeah but we don't other animals don't beat each other up to prove they can <laughs> well, you know they're you, like for food deer or like elk that the big horn rams that or ram for sex heads. but it's horns it's not for you know they're not getting drunk it's, at a bar and doing it for fun or to yeah. prove something it's yeah it's for mating or food well like sea lions when they see another male they're like what the fuck are you doing here bitch yeah dominance yeah i guess right. that's why we do it too yeah back in the in the brain somewhere it's yeah but it's like if dominance. you if you have a species that's just constantly fucking itself up it's probably yeah. not the yeah. best strategy yeah but you should have some uh to add a certain point like it's probably good to like build the strongest but then at a certain point yeah you need cooperation yeah isn't that the new theory of how we came to be is like all the beta male uh, i've heard this on a podcast i'm sure all the beta males got together and uh teamed up and killed all the alphas and then civilization was born we like <laughs> took out all the alphas yeah and won with democracy i think <laughs> I mean, I think that back think in the past, in it wasn't so hierarchical. It was more like a herd of deer. Mm -hmm. Like we're just in a group. There's no like alpha deer. There's, we're just all sort of trying not to get eaten by wolves. Alpha deer. Yeah. I would love to see an alpha deer. That sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah, like an elk with big horns. Horns all the way down the back. Yeah. That'd be fucking cool. Yeah, like the Fabio of deer. Yeah. Is that the alpha? <laughs> Fabio, the alpha. Well, it's just okay. the hair is like. Oh, the I see. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, I love exploring my animal side. Um, wow, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot that you said that. Tell yeah. me more about your animal side. I'm slinging. I got little rocks. Oh, and I very sling yeah, around. very primitive of you. Yeah. Are you good with that? You think you could? That seems unreliable as a defensive weapon. <laughs> you need space. And yeah. It, yeah. And, and is it accurate? Yeah. You I mean you can get accurate? Right. Uh, you can practice as much as you can, and yeah, you can get pretty good at it. It's, it was the most deadly ranged weapon before the crossbow. Okay, so before there was a ranged weapon at before all. Was, <laughs> before there was a bow and arrow. One. It's more. There's no way a sling a with a rock is deadlier than a bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah but that's just no way that's true. You see Joe Rogan out there with a sling <laughs> to kill an elk? There's well, no way. Not, not maybe a modern bow, but like a sling. Um, maybe for people. Because you can throw huge rocks really. It's like a cannonball. And it whistles cool. through the air. Right. But like, I feel like I could kill a bear if I was really good with a bow and arrow. <laughs> but I don't think I could kill a bear if I was really good at hucking rocks at it. Right? <laughs> Um, I mean, I disagree maybe? with your assessment. What podcast did you hear that on? Look up Balearic Slingers. Um, I mean, it was pretty no. deadly in, a, in in terms of an army. Mm -hmm. Like if you had a legion of oh, slingers, a legion of slingers. Yeah, but yeah, I could I mean, see that. Like if like, arrows, if you had like a, a five hundred rocks coming at you, that would be. Yeah, and I mean, guess that's how we used to kill people. Too. There's mm -hmm. ammo that you could, and you could do it. Oh, over it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. If you're like it, you don't want to fight a slinger in like a riverbed. <laughs> yeah. And that would be a nightmare. You want to take him to the desert where yeah. he just has to fling sand at you. <laughs> a little pebble. <laughs> <laughs> really hard, but it's, they're too small. It's not working. Just cover your eyes or you get yeah. stung. Yeah. That's, that's, you shouldn't reveal that on the podcast because that's some strategy that people can use against you. <laughs> you know, if you're using the sling. Yeah. I'm uh, out of my element. I have to be nice here. We're on sand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can blind people for a second, but then you're screwed. Not yeah. doing lasting damage. It's like Magneto's prison. Yeah, exactly. In X Men. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I uh, I love ancient weapons. I love um, you know just you know because like we need to f help our bodies and then also need to go in the future. So 
Mm-hmm. It's good to do both. We need to help our bodies and we need to go in the future. Yeah. What? Our bodies are wanting animal things, so we need to help it get rid of that. And then we uh-huh. also need to like invent the right. hypercraft. Right. It, well, yeah, that's well, that's kind of what we were talking about before. Like you need to honor the, the your body yeah. and what it needs and what it wants, and then that frees up your mind. Yeah. I just think that uh, we shouldn't focus too much on the animal side. I, I think the focus should be on the future side. Is one of these cameras just on your mouth? You see that one that's just yeah. your mouth angle? Uh-huh. Can we cut to that camera? It's like... Um, Let's cut to the mouth camera. Mouth cam? Yes, mouth cam. Yeah, this one's a little there. low. Hold on that for the rest of it. That's good that they have that camera. Yeah. Oh, there no, we go. Back to the mouth place. What's moving? There we go. Is there a camera on the camera? I know. It seems like there are more angles on that screen than there are cameras in this <laughs> yeah. room. I don't know 100%. what's going on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> yeah. um, That's the camera. Our producer is talking to us right now. Hey, so uh, we're at like uh, hour 20. You guys want to put a bookend on this in a few minutes? He's like, Yeah, he's like, this is bullshit <laughs> you should wrap it up stop talking about slings i know i'm no. sorry that i said that about rape oh, no, you no that stop. wasn't when he chimed in it was about the slings <laughs> and the ancient weaponry yeah ancient weaponry was actually in fact invented in ancient babylonia All right well that's good that you can use a sling are yeah. you confident in your ability to defend no. yourself with it no i mean i can scare someone with it They'll be like, oh, I don't want to go there, but I'm yeah. not that accurate with it right now. Yeah. But this is it's scary. Fun. Yeah. It goes really fast. I bet you it does. The noise yeah. that a rock makes when it's, you know, going that fast. Yeah. It strikes fear into your enemy. Yeah. The noise of that <laughs> rock. Is that what it sounds like? <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine it sounds like it. <laughs> it sounded like a bear when I first did it. I was like, oh, what the fuck? Uh, I was like, You're like, is there a bear? <laughs> or am I just hucking rocks really fast? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's dangerous because I did it a couple times where it's like, I don't know where that landed. And if it hit something it's and it was living, it's probably. Yeah, you're practicing this, practicing this on like a playground or, <laughs> you know, in the Chili's. Yeah. Where is where you? In parking lots. In the desert, in the Texas desert. In the somewhere. deserts. Yeah, when I was camping, I was out in the desert slinging. Mm-hmm. Slinging. I like that you yeah. call it slinging. Yeah. That's cool. It's just something to do. Like you were saying about your body, something that puts you in your body. You yeah, know? that's true. And uh, yeah, I mean, I it is violent and aggressive, but you know, the, I think that's a very natural thing to want to get good at. Yeah, you get it out and then you go on stage and tell your <laughs> pussy jokes. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, uh, you want to say anything before we leave? No, I think we covered all the things I didn't want to talk about. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. What are you uh, most nervous about that we should probably? I don't think. I think um, nothing in this book. I think <laughs> okay. I put it all on you. I think I, was, yeah, uh, I, I mean, think I did that slightly. I'm but maybe not. It card. might be my downfall. I hope it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry if it is. Yeah. Just don't do anything successful. Send me a private. If you're send me a private DM, we could talk about it. Don't blast me on the internet. Yeah. Let's talk. I'm willing to change my opinion if it means keeping my career of not having a real job intact. No, I think that we're uh, um, hilarious geniuses and we <laughs> does everything perfectly. So, I mean, I had fun. I don't really know. Yeah, I had fun too. What else to do with these podcasts? I mean, yeah. Well, this is very yeah. It's very. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, it's very new for me. I'm not. I've worked a lot at getting good at stand up recently, but not yeah. um, good it at podcasting. Seems like the thing to do it's like mitch hedberg's joke it's like hey you got good at comedy can you write yeah can you podcast you're good at Mm -hmm. farming are you good at cooking can you farm yeah it's interesting yeah i mean might as well it's like it's not a passion of mine but it's easy to do and it makes me feel like i'm working yeah you don't have a passion for content (laughs) i kind of do you didn't want to grow up being a content creator I did. I I listened to Tucker Max and Red Maddox. I don't know what those are, but it sounds good. <laughs> um, They're like proto internet celebrities. Oh, oh, I wasn't. I read about some of those people, but I forget all of them. 
so can I find this on like Stitcher Premium or, or Spotify? <laughs> this podcast? Yeah. It's going to be on Ible for sure. I Definitely hope that Ible. I can upload the whole thing That's on good. my YouTube because, you know, I like documenting. My yeah, they life. said we have to sign something yeah. when we leave this studio. Yeah, so. I try to download DocuSign. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's walk out yeah. and not sign anything. Let's just waste our time. Mm hmm. I'm getting paid for this, right? <laughs> Ibbles bang me. Can I get one of those desks they have to stand up at? I mean, I hope that we don't have to pay for it, but... You might have to pay for I this. I don't know how money works. I got here early and they were talking about business stuff. I was like, I'm going to talk to Hans. I don't know what's, what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, but the businessman. Your hot commodity. <laughs> I'm so I'm, a, I'm happy about it. I'm happy I'm, Hans is being appreciated. I'm glad that it's happening. It's like not really me. It's like... A character that I play on TV. Mm. No, Kissing strippers. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Does that taste like as much dick as I think it would? No. It's fine. Oh, okay. I like it. Right. Um, no, yeah, I haven't tasted dick. That's I have good. tasted like dry mouth. And like, right. Yeah, but. They're just high. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm sure they could clip that. That could be the promo. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Hans. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs>